Oh, Paulina. What is this? A clan gathering? Now, this can only mean one thing, that my Rachel is ill. If my mother she's... needs you, she'll call you. And whatever's wrong, it's a sure bet that seeing you will make it worse. Hey, you don't want to hurt Rachel, do you? I'm pregnant? You are. No. No. No, I can't. I can't, really. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. Oh, God. Sit down. Oh, oh, don't. Come on, sit down. Oh, God. Sit down. Oh, God. Take oh, a few I breaths. Can't. I can't be. Oh. Okay. Oh. No. Look, I, I understand. This is... Rachel, I, I, I double-checked the test results myself. This has got to be a mistake. No. No, there is no mistake. I can't be pregnant. Not now. Well, you know what? If you're going to wallow in self-pity, be my guest. But I don't have to sit here and watch. Oh! Oh, what was that? What, what happened? <gasps> you tripped me. In the leg. I felt I it. Tripped. You tripped. You moved your leg. You moved it, Charlie. You did. Oh, my gosh. Shut up, oh, Josie. Your mother just moved her leg. Oh, Go oh, get Dr. Slater. Go get Dr. Slater. Go get Dr. Slater. Go get Dr. I wrote you a letter. It was Etta May's idea. No, I remember. I was there. I feel like... You know, like my love for you got frozen. Just right in that moment. In the hospital when... When you opened up your eyes and, and then and you said goodbye to me. My love's gonna be with you forever. I need to know what comes next. That's all. I just... I need to be as clear about something as, as, as I am clear about my love for you. I think that's possible. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to answer me. <sighs> but I wouldn't give. Me too. You're gonna catch cold out here. How did you know I was here? Anna May told me. Anna May is supposed to be on my side. Anna May is on your side, Vicky, just like I'm on your side. Look, that's kind of why I wanted to take you away, so... And you could figure this out. Um... I have figured it out. I can't go away with you. we both know that there's something going on between us. And I think it's time we took a look at that. Why? I don't want to hurt you, Bobby. I'll take that risk. It's just one day alone, okay? I just don't know what it's going to prove. You know, what, that you're handsome? That you're strong? That you make my kids laugh? I know all that. There are some things you don't know about. I think maybe it's better that way. No, I think you need to know some stuff. Bobby, um, Jake did a background check on you. I'm not worried. 
Vicky, I'm asking you to do this for me. If this stuff, all these things are so important, why haven't you told me about them before now? Because a law oh, before now, I didn't know. Before now, I didn't know you had feelings for me, too. And now that I do, I think you should get the facts straight, okay? Okay, just... Okay, go. Just go ahead. Tell me. I can't, Vicky, not here. Oh, come on! What? What is this big secret? What, is the sky it's gonna not, fall no, if you... No, no, it's not a secret, all right? It's not a secret. A couple years ago, I was having a really rough time, all right? I didn't know if I wanted to live to the next day. I was lost. I got a friend, all right? I got this great friend who sees things, all right? He is the reason why I'm on this planet today. Vicky, you need someone to help you make sense of things, this is not okay? I'm tell you, but listen to him. He cares about you. You need to remember that there is more to living life than hanging out in a graveyard. There was one person in this world who knew what I needed. And coming here is a way for me to be close to him. Give me a favor, will you give me some ideas here? Right? I'm, I... Oh, God! Act like a ghost in a movie and, and, and give me a sign, all right? I'm running out of things to do. What? What do you think I've been doing? I've been giving you some... What do you, what do you think, that whole radio thing? What do you think, that was just some psychotic break that you had? Wake up! Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Where, where, where have you been? Well, I've been sitting here waiting for you to call me. Oh, okay. All right, look, please. No riddles this time. Just, please, I'm begging you, tell me. How, it's a matter of life and death. Vicky's life and death. How do I help her? I can't be pregnant. I haven't even allowed myself to think it. Is it the thought of starting over again with the baby? Is that it? Yeah. Yes, Rachel, of course, are you, that's are it. Are you concerned and... about your age? Yeah. Well, yeah, you, that you too. needn't be concerned. Rachel, you're in terrific shape. The chances of having a healthy baby are very oh. good. Late-life pregnancies aren't as threatening as they used to this be. This is threatening. This is really threatening to me. But why? Because of Carl, and I just... I can't well, do this Carl, right what does Carl have to do We're not this? even living together, Joan. We're not together. And this... This baby is just gonna complicate everything. Oh, gosh. It's gonna... Oh, God. Rachel, sometimes the love of a child can change everything. about this, John, okay? Nobody can know about All this. Right, I, listen, I just need time to... Rachel, what are you going to tell your children? <sighs> Matt and Amanda are standing outside waiting for you. Oh, I don't know. I... I don't know. Uh, tell them something. Tell them anything. I... 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 I don't know. Just right, tell them right. something Let's, so I'll, I can I'll think. think of something. Yes, I just need on. to Here, think, sit okay? Down. Sit down. I just need some time. Rachel, I, calm down. I, I, uh, take a deep breath. And uh, calm down. I'll take care of it. No, uh, thanks. Oh. Hey, John, is Rachel okay? How is she? It's not serious, is it? No, no, she's she's fine. 
We want the truth. Well, she has a low blood sugar and she's a little anemic, but that's oh, all. Is that why she passed to help? Well, that and the fact that she hadn't had anything to eat all day long. I reminded her that she's got See to that? rest and, and watch her diet. How can you lie like that? Carl, will you please How can you lie like that, Carl? huh? You think that soothing bedside manner is not going to wash with me, John? Carl? No, you, you, no, why are you, what are you holding there back? There is such a thing as doctor-patient confidentiality. Oh, please respect Why don't you me. leave you before back? my mother sees you? Yes, she doesn't you, want you. If you really care about her, prove it by putting her first. Carl, listen, Carl, come here, come here. John said Rachel's not in danger. If that changes, I'll call you. I promise. Just go, please. It's okay. Go. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, so please go on, John. Is she gonna be okay? Yes, like I said, uh, she's... Oh, Rachel. Rachel, are you okay? Oh, mother, mother hey. I know you haven't been eating well enough these days, and I'm taking you out to eat right please now. No arguments. I'll cook you something at the restaurant. Would I have to go back to Would you forget about cooking, anyway. Amanda, and no, I will really, take I her out of You know, you guys, it's a good thing I came back. What, what? are you talking about? Oh, nothing. It's just that Mother's been very upset about you-know-who, and Oh, now I think you should just stop right now. Hold, 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 hold. Stop it. There's no sense in standing around the hallways arguing like this. Your mother will ask for help when she needs it. John's right. John's right. No, he's not. She didn't even want to come here today. You know what? We've just been word sick about... Rachel. Mom. Rachel? I can move it. Don't so just... I moved my leg. I know, I know. I the whole hospital leg. knows. I'm sorry. I couldn't help. I'm my hands up. Okay, so let's see what all the excitement's about here. Can you feel the show? Oh boy, do I really have anything to celebrate? Okay, it's a question of degree, Charlene. Okay. okay, now try to move the leg again. Oh god, I was afraid to move it. It's okay, Mama. Just try. Charlene, just listen, try. Charlene, we are here for you. It's okay. Get. Okay, do it. Okay, okay. Let me check the other leg. No, oh, god. This is not like they're connected, right? That this one leg doesn't affect the other, does it? Nothing. I don't. I don't feel anything. Okay, and now? Mm. I don't feel anything. It was real. Okay. Doctor Slater, it was real. Okay. I moved my leg. She did. I, I, I did. She did. Well, what happened, Mama? How did you move your leg? I was mad at you. Okay. It's possible. It's possible that the, the muscle responded to uh, a muscle spasms, okay? But maybe, just maybe, okay, your intense anger was channeled and it caused the muscle to respond. Like, well, does that mean that it was like a one-time thing or, or what does that mean? Look, I don't want to see any long faces in here. Charlene is making a complete recovery, okay? She's had a return of sensation. Every step is real progress. Okay? In certain cases of paralysis, it's a matter of that sensation and motor control can return, but on one side of the body, okay? It's, it's a type of a syndrome that can affect this type of injury. So what, the other leg just plays dead or something? No, no, the other leg plays catch up. So eventually, hopefully, you'll be able to walk again. Did you hear that? Hey. <laughs> I need to do a more thorough checkup. So if everybody could uh, just leave the room, please. No, I, I want my children to stay with me, okay? That is how I think of you. You know that. <laughs> Josie, would you make sure that Charlene gets back to the farm, please? I sure will. And maybe we'll stop on the way home and, and celebrate or something. <laughs> See you. I'll see you later. Okay? Felicia, Felicia. Thank you. Thank you for getting through to Charlene. I just I didn't think it was possible. Does anybody else know I'm up here? 
Well, Carl left. And Matt and Amanda are still arguing about you. But I snuck away. We were all very worried when you just took off. Please don't let them know I was up here. Okay. Rachel, you don't have to feel upset or confused. Just because we all depend on you doesn't mean you have to be a rock every minute. Hmm. Whenever Joe and I get in a fight, I always look at Dante. It helps so much. I mean, look at their tiny little hands. Whenever I look at a newborn, I just want to rush out and have another one. But don't tell Joe, though. He thinks we should wait till Dante's out of diapers. <laughs> Well, you can't always predict, can you? <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> we weren't even married when I got pregnant. Well, we got pregnant. <laughs> I always say we. It does take two, doesn't it? Can I ask you something? Do you miss it? Having little ones? Or do your grandchildren make up for it? treasured every minute of bringing up my children. But there's something to be said for having my own life back. <laughs> That's why grandchildren are so great. A lot less responsibility and, and the love is the same. <laughs> oh, you are such a great family person. Oh, so are you. You think? Yes. It's what I always wanted to be, you know? I thank God for Joe every day. I'm sorry. Are you thinking about Carl? Is that why you're so upset? I, I just don't think I can take any questions today, okay? It's okay, Paulina. Okay. Mm. I read somewhere that newborns' eyes are so clear because they just came from God. The first time I looked at Dante, I knew it was true. <laughs> I'd like to see the takeout menu, please. Uh, it's the same as the regular menu. Whatever. Vicki Hudson's ordering takeout. Solo. Wait, scratch that. She's got company. I cannot take being followed anymore, all right? Vicki, look, I'm doing this for your own good. No, you right? understand me? I have taken care of myself for years, and I'm still here, okay? So please back what? off! Pushing me away will not make these feelings go away. It doesn't work. I've tried it, all right? I'm not going away with you. Okay. Okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Look, the reason I wanted to take you away was to release some of this pressure, not add to it. Obviously, it was the wrong choice for where we're at now. Which would be where? You know, where? I don't know. I think we're friends. It's not enough for you, right? Do you hear me asking for anything else? I just, I can't explain all the time what I'm feeling or, or where I'm going. Wait a second. Why... Do you hear me doing that? Do you hear me asking for anything from you? Vicky, I watch, right? I see you stare at that picture of Ryan. I hear you cry yourself to sleep at night. And you know, the only thing I want to do is I want to make you feel a little less alone, right? Which is exactly what you did for me. So what do you think? I'm gonna share some Oh, problems. so this is where the lovebirds meet. Oh, uh, Harrison, not now, not now. Or else? Oh, wow. Well, what choice do I have now that my ex-wife has so graciously imposed a restraining order on me? Get <laughs> out. Ooh, you've trained this dog very you're well. You're so tedious, Victoria. Grant. Why don't you get out of here before I call 911, huh? You know, it's my feeling you're the one who should be restrained, Victoria. Your lack of morals is a public outrage. Well, my friends don't understand why can't life be simple? Nothing's worse than a marriage breaking up. Oh, I would have said exactly the same thing before today. 
I'm not going to ask you what the test results were. But you don't have to be alone with it. Please, come home with me. Come on. Cuddle Dante. Eat some pasta. I'm going to pass, darling, OK? It's probably a better idea that you do that. Why? <laughs> Dante's teething, and it might not be so restful. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Thank goodness Joe gets up with him in the night, or I would be falling into the Minas throne. You just be grateful for Joe, okay? I am. John said you should be taking better care of yourself. What else did John say? Well, that's it, basically. We all want to be here for you, you know? We love you very much. I know that. I know that. It's just that sometimes love isn't the solution. Sometimes it's the problem. Well, what is this, Bridget? Some, some great big cosmic joke? Because, because if it is, then I'm really not laughing. I mean, bring me back on this earth? And, and, and why? Victoria is the one that brought you back. And it's your love for her that makes this pos this journey possible. I thought that was obvious. Oh well, you? then excuse me for not knowing the rules it of is, being a ghost. It's because of your love that keeps you here, close to her. Right, right, but not close enough. I mean, I can't, I can't talk to her. I can't tell her how much I love her. I certainly can't warn her about uh, about Grant. Well, of course you can. I've tried everything. Oh, everything. Yes, everything. Everything you can dream of. Oh, please, Bridget, no more riddles. You can reach the living through a dream. You already know that. Well, Vicky has dreams about me. I, I know that. Yes, I do. I've heard her say that. Well, that's your answer. Oh, please. Please, no more. Wait. You mean that I can actually communicate with Vicky through her dreams? Well, why didn't you say oh, that before? No. That's oh, all you had to say Andrew, to me. Please, we've got adult here today. No, it's not Victoria's dream. If she should find out what Grant is planning to do, can you imagine what crazy things she'll be up to? Oh, right, 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 right. No, you, right. no, you mustn't tell her about this. Do you understand I this? Do, yeah. For her own sake, for her own protection. You're still taking care of her, aren't you? Oh, well. Well, we leave our bodies in the earth, but the love lives on. So, the time that I was trying to save Stephen on the train tracks, mm -hmm. it was Bobby. Mm -hmm. It's always been Bobby. Yes, I. It's Bobby. So I've been in his dreams a couple times, yes? Yes, but it was an accident then. Now it, now you have to do it on purpose. You have to be sure that he listens to you. And you mustn't frighten him, because if you do, he'll wake up and he'll just turn away. Oh, I know it, it's going to be a difficult thing to do, dear. I but... don't care how difficult it is. I'll get through to him. Vicky's life depends on it. Oh, hi. Oh, wait, 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 that's exactly what he wants. Oh, Victoria, I never ask for or condone violence. Oh, that's rich. Coming from a man who shot his own brother in the back. That was an accident for which I paid with a portion of my own life. Well, what do you mean? Would that be the few months that you spent in jail? Or, anyway, at least the U.S. Senate had the good sense to toss you out on your rear. You're right, Victoria, I have had a tough couple of years. But at least I'm not humiliating my children by carrying on simultaneous affairs at the same time in their presence. Uh -huh. Tell me Let's now. take this outside. Is this Shall Bobby's we? night, or is perhaps McKinnon waiting for both of you back at the house? What are you implying? Your life gets more sordid every minute. You're projecting. I'm calling the cops. Oh, no, 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 please. Don't call the cops. Attach yourself to whomever you please. Just keep my innocent son out of it. I hate that guy. I need to get out of here. Yeah? Well, I thought you were hungry. No. I mean, I really need to get out of here. You know, the, the, the trip that you were talking about? Tell me more about it. It sounds like a great Ooh. idea. Boy, are you sure? I am not going to let that slime run my life. Let's go. OK. When? When? Uh, tomorrow. I, I, I need a little bit of time to get things settled. Tomorrow? Tomorrow it is. Just I promise, OK? I'm going to help you leave some of this stuff behind for a little while. Right? Great. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, I don't know exactly what time, but it's happening tomorrow. So how is Rachel? She's she's coping. Coping? What does that mean, <clears throat> coping? You know how anxious she is for the results of this test? Yes, I know. 
And I you have... also know that I cannot tell you what those results were. John. You can't think. Oh, I know. Okay. It's just that Rachel is my best friend and... Oh, God. Is this serious? Physically... No. Oh. No. But she will be on an emotional roller coaster for quite a while. Felicia, she'll tell you about it when she's ready. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to tell you about Charlene's breakthrough. Charlene had a breakthrough? Really? Yes, it's really. In fact, I have the bruises to prove it. Restraining order. Isn't that called a restraining order? Because he's supposed to be restrained, right? Some Grant Harrison he thinks he can just march into my life and get away with whatever he wants, but not... Mom, hi. Uh, it's me calling. I need to know if the boys can have a sleepover tomorrow night. Will you call me ASAP if it's not all right? Uh, thanks. Vicki, look, um, Vicki, Grant Harrison is not here, okay? You can relax. Every time Grant comes to the door to take Kirkland away for a little visit, you know, I can barely breathe until I see that little boy's blonde hair again. I'm the, the whole thing, it's not easy, you know? Life's a balancing act. Not for you, it's not a balancing act. Look at you, so calm, so cool, relax. What are you doing? Polishing. This, it's not done until it's finished polishing. Polishing? That's exactly what I'm talking about. You see, like, I never get to polish anything, you know, because I'm all so busy hacking away at things and, until the, the doorbell rings and it's my mother or, or the phone rings. And, and then so whatever it is just gets stuffed underneath the pile and I just... These pictures are Stevens from summer camp. Vicki, Vicki, look, I used to race cars at 120 miles an hour, okay? You could say I lived for speed. And then I got into a wreck. And my life came to a screeching halt. What do you think? A little bit better polish? Why aren't you bitter? It sounds like you were a top driver, so... Yeah, it was okay. Why aren't you bitter? Huh, who says I'm not? You saw me at Ryan's grave. I hate it that I'll never see him again. Mm -hmm. I know you do. But see, you love those boys. And you couldn't do that unless you'd found some way to accept the loss. It was them, not me. Uh, come on. I see you with them. I see you check Stephen's math homework after oh. he goes to bed. Yeah, well, I never did figure out those tens units, did you? You know how much of a kick those boys get out of pizza night? <laughs> You look at them, and you would never think that they had been through so much tragedy. I so desperately just want them to have a normal life. That's and you give that to them. You give that to them. You also, you set limits, but you let the limits stretch just enough so that those boys know that life is meant to be lived, you know, to have fun. Mm. You never bitch and moan about the fact that you didn't grow up with a mom or a dad. <laughs> oh, I did. I don't have my wings yet. You know what I see the most? I see sadness. A project finished. Vicky. I'm gonna take uh, this upstairs and pack up for the boys. Wait, will you wait for a second? Like this, this is why I wanted to take you away from here, okay? So you could stop for just long enough to let life happen to you. More wise words from your friend, I think. Vicki, that wreck was the luckiest moment of my life. You know why? Because I had to stop. I didn't have any choice. Still think you'd feel so lucky if you didn't get the transplant? No, no, that's, that's not the point. Look, I had a fine time polishing that railing, all right? I'd love building that treehouse for the boys. I love making gumbo for a beautiful mother of two. My fine times might not seem like much to a guy like Jake McKinnon, but to me, they add up to a hell of a life. So you, you want to take me away so that I'll slow down, but, mm -hmm. but we're still, you know, just 
friends. Yeah. I won't lie to you. I won't tell you that I don't like it when your hair is wet and you haven't blow dried it yet. I won't lie to you and, and tell you that I, I don't dream about being close to you. But I also know that you're grieving the loss of a man that you loved with your whole heart and soul. I hope one of these days that you and I can find something together. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. But I'm not gonna push you. I went to the cemetery because I wrote Ryan a letter. Ed and May thought it would be a good way for me to... I left the letter at the cemetery. Oh, oh. I just, I forgot it there. How could I do that? Vicki, you're not ready to let go yet, okay? It's just a guess, but Ryan was... He was like your northern star, right? Your compass, he, he led you to your better self, yeah. right? Uh, he still does yeah, that. Right. And... Well, see, if I was you, I would... God, I wouldn't want to let go of that. Not unless there was something that I was sure that was incredibly special that was going to replace it. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this trip we're taking tomorrow, it's, mm -hmm. it's like a um, bit of a, a spiritual journey of mm -hmm. sorts. And so mm -hmm. I was wondering, would it then be appropriate for me to bring uh, candy bars? Chocolate. Chocolate candy bars, <laughs> yes. Um, tomorrow, then, would be a very, a very big day and um, a very special, important day. Just like today? Just like yesterday? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Waiting for you. Hey, gorgeous. Uh, buy you a drink? Oh, hi. Uh, no, thanks. I'm just waiting for takeout, Michael. Ah. You managed to uh, get rid of that retinue you had? You saw them? Saw them? How could I miss them? They took up almost the whole waiting room at the hospital. Do you know how hard it was to lose them? <laughs> just don't tell them where I am, okay? No. Rachel, look, I, I, I just wanted to say uh, one thing to you. I, uh, when I was sick, when I had leukemia, I, I thought I was doing my family a favor by not telling them what was going on with me. I'm know? not sick. And I thought my conversation with John was private. What did he say to you? Oh, John? Oh, he didn't say anything. He would never say a word well, to me. Took an oath. Did... Well, I, I was at the hospital and I saw John talking to Matt and Amanda, and they both looked like they'd been in a train wreck. You know, they had that look on their face that always accompanies bad news. So I just thought. Uh... I, I really don't care to talk about it. Okay. Okay. I can... I, I respect that. But I just want you to know if you ever need anything at all... Thank you. Call me any time. Yeah. Just tell everybody to stop worrying about me, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks. The day I've been living for is just hours away. And I am expecting the performance of your career. I can't wait. There's no margin for error, Hal. Reno's taking Victoria away in his truck tomorrow, and I expect this to go like clockwork. Yeah, I'll get it done. You better. So, may I present you with your bag of tricks? By this time tomorrow, I want this over and done with.
not a chance. Who's there? That's right. You've you've never heard my voice before, but you've had a look at me, haven't you? Ryan. Rachel, please, please let me share this with you. Darling, I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. There's nothing for you to worry about. Whatever the trouble is, you know, you don't have to face it alone. You've given me no choice. <laughs> look, look, I'll do whatever I can. No, please. I will. Please don't I'll... promise me anything that I might believe. I just can't afford that right now. Am I... Am I the cause of your illness? Here's to tomorrow. The first day of the rest of my life. That's right. I'm dead. You're dreaming. Who's dream? Yours or mine? Ah, uh, don't get defensive now. People told me when I got your corneas that it was a miracle. That's right. There's a reason for that. Yeah, well, right now I feel like I'd be better off blind. Oh, I don't think Vicky would feel that way. You know, Bridget told me that I was finally going to figure out why I'm here. Bridget? Is she here too? Absolutely. Bridget. Bridget always shows up when the chips are down. As a matter of fact, she's the one who um, told me how to get into your dream tonight. Well, you can just get out of my dream because I am sick and tired of you playing games with me. <laughs> ah, you think this is a game? You think it was a game the night that Stephen was caught on the tracks and almost died? It's not a game, Mr. Reno, so listen up! Not if you want to save Vicky's life. And I know you do. It's in the safe. Vicky needs to be safe. Secrets are safe. Vicky? Vicky? Vicky, you here? You okay? Read what it says. Rob Perino, 1997. Now read the other one. Victoria. Read it. Victoria Hudson, 1997. No. 